Delaware Valley's leading news program. New at 6 o'clock tonight, Philadelphia's Office of Emergency Management is shining a light on volunteer organizations tonight, vital to the city's emergency response efforts. Election News reporter Annie McCormick tells us about a first response of its kind, and it started right here in Philadelphia. Dee Dee is the spokes dog for the Red Paw Emergency Relief Team. It's the least she can do. They saved her life. And there are hundreds of pets like her, thanks to former firefighter turned founder Jen Leary, who realized this on the job. Nobody's there to help the pets to find them if they're missing inside the building, to provide emergency care on scene and then transport them to a hospital. It was this 2011 apartment inferno at 48th and Market that Jen herself was fighting that became the catalyst for Red Paw. Now the organization with 500 volunteers averages 800 emergencies a year. They're a gap filler for the city. You know, we don't have the resources necessarily to provide support to every single person that experiences a crisis in the city. But these voluntary groups, they do. I mean, fires and disasters don't ever <laughs> stop. And because we're the only organization in the country doing this, people were the only ones they called. April is Volunteer Month, and this so happens to be Volunteer Week. Philadelphia's Office of Emergency Management wants the spotlight on Red Paw. Funds go towards vehicles, transportation, and emergency pet care, like emergency room visits and oxygen tanks. They also need foster families. And Dee Dee is once again enjoying kisses and also belly rubs, thanks to a foster family that was able to nurse her back to health, even with her injuries that she sustained in a fire. Red Paw Relief needs more volunteers volunteers like that. They also need monetary donations. Red Paw has found themselves covering Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, and even New York, all for the pets of every kind. We've gotten pop belly pigs. We've responded to West Philly for horses. We've done all sorts of snakes. We took a tarantula to Penn Bet for smoke inhalation. Annie McCormick, Channel 6 Action News.